Good day, you're watching Makoga Enterprises. Um, today's lesson is going to focus on how to carry out landing. So when we have our cables, we'll be able to know exactly how to carry out the different glands and also to be able to identify a suitable gland for the different sizes of cables that we have in our various sites. So this is a gland which has got different parts of it. So the first part, which is um, the reducer, as you can see, the reducer is right inside the gland. And then we have the stop lock, which is used now to stop the armoring of the cables from going up and treating right inside. So when we tie it from the lock knot, we'll be able to hold the armoring of the cables right inside the cable gland. And then as you can see here, this is the head tag or the editing tag, this part of it. And then we have the PVC shroud, which is this part of it. So this is going to hold from below. And then we have a cable that is running from down. And then from the top here now, we'll be glanded to our panel board. And then we have our cables now, or the wires that will be distributed going now to terminate in the different uh, terminal, terminal board of the panel board. So I'm going to give all the different materials that we are going to be using. Actually, we need a gland and we need our knife. Obviously need a hammer and we have our adjustable spanners. We need a two set of it. Obviously we need our cable. So our cable is going to be pulled. We need our cable. In this case, we have a sample cable here. And then also we need a hacksaw, so in order to cut our cables. So we obviously need a marker as well, which we are going to be doing the marking, doing the cutting and all that. So um, I'm going to proceed now with a different type of glands. Actually, we have different types of glands. So if we go through our gland schedule, as you can see here, these are the different glands that we have. We have a BW gland. We have TP, BW, and PBW gland. We have CW gland, and then these other glands. So um, I'll focus on these two different types, BW and CW. Actually, this is what we have here. So the first gland here, we'll be able to identify what is the type of gland. This is a BW gland. It is written here, which is a BW gland. And then this type also is a CW gland. So as you can see, here, this is a CW gland, which is mentioned on our chart. So to identify a suitable gland for our cable, what we are going to do is we have to, first of all, identify the size of the cable. In this case, this is four core 16 square mm cable. So we'll be able to identify, which is a four core 16 square mm cable. So we are going to get our cable and then proceed immediately with our gland. But before we proceed, we have to select a suitable size of gland for that particular cable. So this is a four core 16 square mm cable. So we go now on our cable portion. we we'll look for 16 square mm, which is this. And then now, our core is four core. So in this case, we have four core 16 square mm cable, which we are going to select a 25 gland size. So since we are talking of the gland type that we have here for, which is suitable for 16 square mm is BW. So we are going to focus on BW as you can see here. And then now we move to 16 square mm, which is four core. We are going to have 25 S gland. So as you can see here, we have, this is a 25 mm gland that we have. So we are going to use this now to gland our cable in order to terminate or gland to our panel board. Then we terminate now to the different points which we are supposed to terminate on our panel board. So we are going to start right away. The first thing we are going to do is, we're going to uncouple the gland, as you can see. This part is going to be removed. Then we have this portion. What we are going to do now is 
this part is going to be fitted right inside. And then we have our armoring of the cables that is going to lie around the gland. And then we tie it with the other portion which I remove in order to hold it firm to the gland. So while we do our termination, the gland or the cable will not be able to be pulled out of the gland, which is very important. So what I'm going to do is I'll get my cable tie and then cut a portion which I will need to cut. So I put my cable tie. Okay, the cable tie. I put it as such. This is a portion I want to cut. So I put as such. So the whole of this portion, I'm going to gland, put the armoring of the cable to my cable gland. So I will tie it as such. And this is the portion I'm going to cut. So I cut it as such. Now I get my knife. Also make sure you don't get damaged your armoring of the cable. So I have cut it as such. Then I'll remove. Actually, I can still use my knife in order to cut the, the mechanical portion of the cable. So now I'm ready to move. So I get my screwdriver, which I'm going to lift the armoring of the cable right up. So I'll be able to glance. So this is what I'll do. Now I'm left now to remove my cable tie. Okay, I can cut it here now. It's removed. So now I proceed now in inserting my armor, the gland to my armor cable. So now what I'm going to do is, I'll insert this portion first which is going to be glanded as such. So I'm going to insert the portion first. Once this part is already inserted, now I move over to lifting up the armoring of the cable. You can see. I'll leave them as such. So I've lifted a portion up which I'll be able now to To gland my cable. So at this portion now, at this point, I'll be able to lift, if possible, to lift again a little bit up so that I have my armoring of the cables move up. You have to understand as well that all the different gland sizes or all the different gland types, they have their different mood. And as such, it will be terminated differently. As... So we have it done as such. So I can use my hammer now to hammer so that the armoring of the cables stick directly on the gland.
So at this point now, I have my armoring already fixed. As you can see, I fixed it already all around. So I make sure I press it a little bit tight and then I get my other portion tight as such. So I have to lift it off. Then I press the other portion down and then I tie it as such, as you can see. So now what I have to do is get my adjustable pan spanner and then open up so that it gets to the same size of the gland. So I tie it as well. Once you're able to tie a surge, it's now an adjustable spanner. I want to remove the egg duct now. It is not really required at this point. So I'll move the head back. So I can get my adjustable spanner sitting directly on my gland. I have this already. So I'll get the other which I'm going to put right on the other side, as you can see. So now I tight. Now remove this and adjust the other as well. They fit in directly. Open up again a little bit. Tight as such, might as well use this to tie the reefer. Well, I have my spanner already. I just a spanner is there. Now I can tie it as such. So while I'm tying, I ensure that the armoring of the cable is well tied on the gland. So at this point, I'm done. As you can see, I have my gland already connected and terminated to my cable. As such, now I'll be able now to proceed with my air tag. I fit in the air tag, which I'm going to bond as well to my panel board and I insert to my panel board and I tie from 
the top so that it goes to the panel as well. And then now I'll get my PVC shroud. I get my PVC shroud. I'll cut it again a little bit so it can fit inside. So inside a search, I'll have my PVC shroud, which is inside a search. And then from here now, I have to uh, burn my head tag now to the panel bar, or probably from one head tag to another head tag, depending on the amount of cables that are found inside the panel board. It's very important. So while you're carrying out glanding and termination, you understand exactly how to select the suitable size of the gland with the reference to the size of the cable and then also the different types as I showed you on the chart or on the catalog. So you get to understand exactly how to select and then you carry out a suitable gland. And then also to be able to identify the different tools that you require in order to carry out uh, different glanding and termination, which is very important. Till then, you're watching Makoga Enterprises.